Today, I'm going to discuss how mental chronometry can measure mental processes. We're going to discuss the subtraction method, and this involves steps for simple reaction time tasks, steps for choice reaction time tasks, what these two tasks really yield in terms of data, calculating choice reaction time, and the problems with the subtraction method. Mental chronometry uses what is known as the subtraction method, and it's a simple way to determine the speed of cognitive processes by subtracting simpler processes from more complex ones. Step one, determine your simple reaction time. The simple reaction time is the amount of time it takes you to respond once you see a stimulus. In this task, you are presented with a stimulus, perhaps this blue dot. As soon as you see the stimulus, you respond with a key press. Over many trials, more than six, we eventually develop an average of the simple reaction time. And in this case, it is 1503.33 milliseconds. Step two, determine your choice reaction time. And this is how long it takes to decide between two choices. So you might have a blue dot to which you respond with the left key, and a red dot to which you respond with the right key. Blue, respond left. Blue, respond left. Red, right. Blue, left. Red, right. Blue, left. Then we create an average of the choice reaction time. And here the average is 2,020 milliseconds. How to calculate the choice reaction time? Well, there are some terms I've been throwing out. Total reaction time, or TRT. Simple reaction time, or SRT. And choice reaction time, or CRT. These terms are very misleading. Our tasks really give us the total reaction time for the SRT task and the total reaction time for the CRT task. And total reaction time for choice minus total reaction time for simple equals the amount of time it takes us to make a choice. How does that work? Well, the simple reaction time task involves the perception of an object plus a motor response. Those two things combined together take 1,503.33 milliseconds. In the choice reaction time task, we have to perceive an object, have that motor response, and make a choice. Those three things combined together take 2,020 milliseconds. So the TRT for the simple task is object perception plus motor response. The TRT for the choice task is object perception plus motor response plus making a choice. So our choice response time equals the total response time for the choice task minus the total reaction time for the simple task, or 2,020 milliseconds minus 1,503.33 milliseconds, and that equals 516.67 milliseconds. So it takes us about half a second to make a choice. This is a simple and powerful tool. 
However, there are some problems with the task. Very simply, human beings process some forms of information in parallel. The method assumes that we process information sequentially. First object perception, then decision, then response deployment. That is not always the case. Sometimes we do process information sequentially, but certainly not all the time. So this makes this method powerful, but not all powerful.